And the lady's like, yeah, she's out. And like Amber has her eyes open when she fainted. <laughs> so her eyes were like, like, fainted. She, she looked like. Today is very exciting because today is our first OBGYN appointment. So I want to start it off here in the morning. I showered, I got my shower thing on because I got to let my hair dry. And Amber's having some avocado toast. And some milk. And some milk. <laughs> After her morning puke. She tries really hard not to puke, but it just happens. And she just puked while making her avocado. But avocado is good for you when you're uh, pregnant. It has good healthy fats, so the baby's brain gets developed really, really good. Mm -hmm. And the cats are here, probably hungry too, because they get fed in the mornings. Right, Monday? Monday, what you doing? Good morning. Say good morning. Say good morning. She's like feeding. She's like, um, oh, yep. She said good morning. Did you guys hear that? Did you say it right? Oh, and then she said subscribe. <laughs> You're so good at this YouTube thing. <laughs> You're so cute. She probably said feed me, I'm hungry, but I said she said good morning, subscribe. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get ready. We got like 10 minutes until we have to head out. Um, I'm already ready, dressed. I gotta do my hair. She's gotta do her hair. So yeah, we'll see you guys at the clinic. See you soon. Peace. Made from ten dollars? Uh, I'm not sure or something. Or shells. Like they shells. cut it up. I think they're shells. Wait, wait, oh, you can't twist my hand. Hey guys, so we're trying out this um, thing we put on the car so we can vlog hands free. But let me tell you how this this uh, visit went. It was awesome. You guys saw that video where we were, um, sorry for the music, that where we were watching that video and it was really informative, but all that stuff we practically already knew. We learned some new stuff though. Yeah. You can only have one fish a week. Mm -hmm. And um, we let the, the nurse know about the blood clot that she had, the sub subchronic hematoma. That thing, and she said she's gonna let the doctor know. We really like this, um, it's like a hospital we've never heard about, <laughs> but uh, we really like it. We've never been here, my sister's never been here, so it's a new experience. Everybody's really nice, and she went to go get her blood work, and this is where the crazy part starts. Hopefully the camera doesn't die because it's blinking already. So the nurse can't find her, because. The one that we usually have for the fertility clinic, she's really good at it and we really liked her. And she always found her vein right away. So this nurse was having a difficulty finding it. And we're just like, uh-oh, here. I already knew it was gonna go bad when you when they can't find your vein and just, she was doing all kinds of things, telling her to twist her arm like this. It was this arm on Amber. So she's telling her to twist her arm like this and I'm like, that don't look right. And I always know people have issues when they try to get the vein that runs through here. So she starts putting it in and then we realize she has a lot of bottles. I'm like, uh-oh, she's gonna take a lot. But the good thing is Amber had a, a good breakfast. She had two avocado toast and a glass of milk. So it was good. And so she starts taking the blood and Amber starts breathing weird. She's like, are you okay? Amber's like, yeah. And then she's like, are you sure? Um, she drops one of the little bottle that you put the blood in on the floor before all of that happens. Um, then she asked Amber to reach over and give her one because she can't because since she has 
the needle a certain way she doesn't want to mess it up because she already had put it in took it out put it back in and it's wiggling it and stuff and I'm like uh oh it's gonna leave a bruise and it probably hurts Amber but she said it didn't hurt her uh, so then she d Amber hands her the tube and then she's like are you sure you're okay and then Amber's like no and then Amber starts like wiggling a little bit and then she's like breathe through your nose uh, breathe out through your mouth and stuff to see if it would calm down and it didn't and then Amber's like I don't feel good and then so she took uh, the thing out because when she put it in the last one that she was gonna do was a little one the blood stopped rushing through and I'm like she lost the vein and then so she was gonna have to poke her again um, but the nurse said she got enough even though she was gonna get more she said it was fine when the other nurse came in um, she said she got enough which was weird to me because it looked like she was trying to get more so I don't know if that was enough or if she's lying or they just prefer more but what she got was fine so then Amber freaking faints freaking out because I'm like scared I go over and I start like rubbing her ba back trying to prevent her from fainting but then she actually faints and the lady's like yeah she's out and like Amber has her eyes open when she fainted so her eyes were like like fainted she, she looked like I'm just like uh oh and then we try to like bring her back the other nurse two people come in they put like this band behind her neck and they tell her to breathe and Amber tries to put her head up and they tell her to no keep it down between your legs so she was going like this but then I guess she didn't have enough strength so she was off to the side so she looked broken like that like like that and it was it was it was a whole whole situation there and they were like blowing air on her asking her if she was feeling okay I guess she got really hot. Like I guess when you faint, you get really hot. Yeah, like I got all sweaty on like my face, and I felt like the sweat dripping down, and I'm just like, like it was like weird. this, and I'm like, she's like, and then the other nurse is like, do you feel hot still, or um, do you feel chilly? Cause it's chilly in the offices and stuff in the clinics. She's like, I feel chilly. She's like, that's good that you're feeling more cool now. Um, so they just waited there, and they asked her if she needed any crackers or anything. Amber said no, and then we got out of there. But it was, it was a whole deal, and it was, it was, it was weird. <laughs> I'm just like Amber, really? You gotta be so dramatic. I'm just kidding. I honestly think it's because of the nurse, uh, the blood person, was doing too much with yeah, that vein. Yeah, she was like moving the needle around, and I saw her like, like look, she was taking it in and sticking it out, like taking, I mean taking it out, sticking it in, like going side to side, and like no blood was coming out, and I'm just like gosh great and then like after that is when I started not feeling okay yeah and it's so weird how your body does its own thing without you wanting it to yeah like, <laughs> like it went in shock or something yeah because she asked her does this usually happen a lot with needles I said no <laughs> it has never happened and we went through IVF so she's dealt with needles a lot and she has never fainted yeah. And she's gotten a lot of blood work taken, like a lot of blood drawn, and it hasn't happened. And then they're like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> and then they said, next. I felt kind of mad because I honestly think it was the nurse's fault. It was because she was, you had your blood drawn weekly, daily, all the time, daily. daily. Even for a little bit. And I was perfectly fine. And we've done how many needles on your belly and all this stuff? Like, Next time I'm gonna have to tell Oh the camera died like we thought was gonna happen. But what were you saying? Uh, I was saying like next time I think I'll have to tell her like when I've got my blood drawn like every single day, it was I say so this is where she did it this time and they usually do it over here. So I'm gonna tell her like can you try and find the vein over here? Because that's the one that's good and I've never passed out for it. I don't know, it's just so weird. Maybe do you think it's because we're fat? No, no. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But they always find my vein. I have little, like my, I might be fat, but my arms are small. Like yeah. my actual down here. Right here is not, but. Like yeah. ever, ever since high school when I donated blood, they've always had trouble or a hard time finding my vein anyway. It's just, I feel like some people have small veins. Yeah. And like my good ones are like the side ones that are hard to get to. But yeah. they also said that next time, um, she probably let them know to have me lay down when they take my blood. Yeah. They were but like, just so you can lay down. They won't take as much the next times, but they said it's still a good idea. So, got that going the, for me. The lady that was taking her blood was like, 
it was probably because it was so much and i'm just like i don't know lady i don't know <laughs> i think it was you i'm just kidding yeah i mean it might have been both yeah who knows but we're headed um where are we headed baby home home yeah this is one way wait is it one no way? you got to no what go are straight sure? yeah because just go yeah you're fine <laughs> Did it come down? Yeah, we usually have these things hanging. Let's see how it, show, how it shows. Oh, it doesn't even show it. Oh, well, I can't see me though. So you're gonna have to tell me how I look. Cute. We usually have like this cross hanging and like this rainbow thingy. But With the phone wiggles a lot. Hopefully it doesn't fall. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> we actually got this. Uh, Thingy and we haven't put it up in a while because we don't really vlog at the car and it's wiggling a lot. <laughs> All right, gotta know how to get home, so we'll talk to you guys when we get to the house. We'll show you guys what they gave us. Well, we'll show you what they, uh, the little uh, diaper bag they gave us, but I don't want to look inside of it because we have a video coming up soon of all these baby free baby stuff that we are getting. So you guys can get for your baby stuff too. We'll show you guys our tip, our trip, our tricks and tips. All right. See you guys. Hopefully you guys can hear us in the car. It's not too long. But yeah.